is good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks. Today, I want to cook up a 90s R&B record. Somewhat like some little Jodeci type of vibes to it. Not exactly sure where I want to take it with the track. Do I want it a real slow jam or, you know, just kind of like a mid-tempo record? I'm thinking maybe like mid-tempo. I'm just something kind of soothing sounding. Um, a lot of times when I do videos, sometimes I have ideas what I want to do, but today is one of them days where I'm not exactly, you know, quite sure, but let's go ahead and see what happens. So I want you guys to sit back and relax and hope everybody enjoys this beat making video. Let's go. Probably gonna switch that kick pattern up just a little bit. Kinda dry feeling. Now you guys might notice for the drums, I took out the shaker that I put in there. What I plan on doing is revamping those drums a little bit later on. They don't sound bad at all, but I feel like I wanna go ahead and add some more percussion into them, but I didn't wanna record myself sitting there doing that all day. You know what I mean? Like I can sit there all day and just kinda tweak the drums, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's go and hop onto this melody. And we starting out with the Korg M1. And this preset is called Cat Watching. I think I used this in one of my other videos before. We're gonna go ahead and lay down a chord progression and um, yeah, let's see what we can come up with, guys. Let's stretch this out. I stretched that a little bit too far. Let's get this out the way. Now it's time to move on to that bass line. Almost all my 90s beats, I love to use synthesized bass. It's very rare that I use an electric bass or an acoustic bass. Although there have been times where I had it, if I wanted to add like, you know, maybe like a slap bass guitar or something like that, I feel like it'd fit in the track. But most of the time when I do my 90s beats, I'm using some type of synthesized bass. No matter what plug-in, you can find a dope one anyone. But this one, we're gonna be using Analog Lab 5. Bass Alogish, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it has a nice, Yeah, let's go and follow along with this melody and uh, wake this bad boy up.
like right here, I should have just dropped straight down and led with that. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, that's better. So for the next instrument, I want to add a plug-in, not necessarily a bell in general, something with bell-like characteristics. And for that, I went into Korg M1 once again, and this is called Dream After, and it's stacked with like four different sounds. It's stacked with a guitar, a piano, and two other instruments, something called Cloud9, and something called Steam. But this is what they all sound like together. You can really hear that guitar in there. So with that being said, we're just going to try to come up with something creative for this part. Like that's very simple but clean sounding and it fits perfect in this track came out pretty good all right so let's lace this thing with a grand piano and for the grand piano i'm still sticking with the cork m1 now this grand piano is pretty bright sounding what i like about the grand pianos and the cork m1 they cut very clean right in the mix like it just sounds so crystal clear when you hear it so we got this one's called the grand layer and like i said it's pretty clean sounding i don't really have an idea exactly what i want to do with this i feel like i'm playing on playing notes kind of similar to what i just did with that pluck but I feel like I want to make sure they complement each other. Hopefully this will work out, man. not gonna lie to y'all I had no idea where I was going with that I was just kind of just freestyling those notes in there like I said but I think it came out good and neither um that pluck um or this piano is really clashing at all like I feel like they just they sync they're in harmony together like it sounds pretty good now it's time to add in a lead for this track and I want to kind of do that traditional 90s lead but I'm not gonna go too crazy even playing around with the modulation wheel or the pitch band I'm just kind of keep it really simple sounding but make sure it sounds effective and for this one we're gonna be using the XV5080 Another one of my favorites, and this lead is called, called the ED Boost or EDI Boost. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but. Super dope, you hold down on that, that after touch. So you don't really even gotta touch the modulation wheel. This should definitely spice this track up even more so. The touch effect is just like an amazing thing to do just to be able to not even touch that modulation wheel and just hold down those notes and kind of wiggle your finger and just I mean that's amazing hit the note normal then that's super dope all right guys so I feel like this track has enough already happening in it and there's no need to add any more so what we're about to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and track the drums out and get everything arranged but I probably will tweak those drums as I said earlier maybe add some percussion sounds here and there just to kind of spice it up some more but anyway let's go ahead and hop back into this so you guys can check out what this finished product is gonna sound like let's go
guys. So that wraps up this beat making video. I do hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys notice I did layer it with another sound. That was kind of that motion synthesized sound that you hear in the intro. I think this is the first beat video where I forgot to actually layer some. Um, it just kind of slipped my mind. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. And also, if you guys have any requests which you want to see next, please don't hesitate to drop a comment and let me know. Ideas always help me out a lot. So if you have not subscribed, please make sure you do because I will be coming back once again this week with another beat making video. I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking with your man Big Boy Tracks right here at Producers Life. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.